Hello, another podcast episode. And first of all, if you hear a light buzzing, my fan is on. <laughs> we have reached high temperatures. Oh, summer is around the corner. So <laughs> this happens a lot. This is a little off topic. This happens like every year. Uh, in May, there's two weeks time where we get insane temperatures so <laughs> and then it rains so I, just, like, I don't know I don't know and usually when I was dancing it was the funniest thing because we would be uh down in downstairs in the larger room which it just absorbed heat and we would be dying because I don't know how the owner timed it but it was always those two weeks Every time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So if you hear a buzzing, I never know what the mic picks up, but if you hear that buzzing, it's it's the fan. So, but that's not what this is about. <laughs> no. Um I actually was holding off on talking about this. I want to talk about Cleopatra. Now, before you switch off, because <laughs> I did, I really wanted to hold back on talking about this. I didn't watch the Netflix thing. I was not going to waste my time or anything. Because first of all, here's how I see it. Okay, now I've seen the rating for it. It got a 1% on Rotten Tomatoes. And I think it got the same thing over on, I, I'm not going to get into the politics of it or anything like that. This is how I feel. Okay, first of all, Netflix is not the history. Of course, the history channel is going into mythical creatures and all that. They may have been doing better and, and everything. Yeah, but Netflix ruined Cowboy Bebop. So what makes you think that this is going to be okay? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Uh, you knew that right out of the gate. This was, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, and and Netflix is notorious for wanting to kick up drama like crazy. I mean, with with the whole Cowboy Bebop thing, at first I was like, okay, sure. And and there were several of my friends and even my brother that was like, all right, we're getting this finally. And then the actress opened her fat mouth, her big fat mouth, and she said that fans were attacking her, which they never did. It's been confirmed that they never did. Okay. And Netflix sided with her. Why? And she even tried to say that the actor who played Spike was on her side, which he was trying to stay out of it. And, um, yeah, that turned into a controversy and it just, it just spiraled. And, and then to find out that the creator didn't even know that this was happening, they shut him out. <laughs> it's just, uh-huh, uh-huh. So what makes you think that this was going to be? any good okay now this is what i'm going to say i mean they they okay now yes i am a dumb american <laughs> i have said so before all i do is i read books on the subject i am not about to sit here and dictate about another country's history okay i love learning about the history and the mythology and all of that that's where I stand. Okay, making this perfectly clear. <laughs> but oh my gosh, this opened a floodgate where all these people are like, well, of course Cleopatra was black. There's evidence to the contrary. She was Greek Mesopotamian. I have known this since I was 12. Okay. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> and there are people that are like, well, you know, because now uh, you 
you know that we can uh, extract DNA from the mummies. They've they've done that, and they have been able to find out their uh, uh, what heritage they're from, and all that. And so people are saying, well, you know, they did that with Cleopatra. We don't know where she is. We don't know where her mummy is. I mean, I remember watching a live uh, documentary and it had Joanne Fletcher and uh, Zahi Hawass. And that was the moment where they discovered Hatshepsut. That was her mummy. And all the credit went to uh, Joanne Fletcher and of course, Zahi Hawass threw a massive tantrum and everything. And not long after that, Joanne Fletcher was banned. And not long after that, Zahi Hawass got caught. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his and uh, from what I'm noticing, he's back. And um, I'm not going to get into the de details of that, but um, whatever. I, I don't know what's going on there, but I've noticed that he's doing conferences and everything so okay <laughs> but anyway yeah i i remember watching that uh they had extracted dna from this unknown mummy and s somehow or another they were able to uh, realize it was her and uh, but they don't know where cleopatra is located they have not been able to find her mummy so all these people who are going around saying, oh, because they have seen the comments about the DNA on mummies. And so now they're trying to say, well, they did it to Cleopatra. They don't know where she is. <laughs> they don't. They don't know. They're still trying to find her. <laughs> she She's doing a better hide and seek game than Richard III. All right. That's just the bottom line. Okay. But there are statues and coins and 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 frescoes and everything. Just we know what she looked like. <laughs> okay. Now, the other thing that really, really annoys me are all the people that are like, well, you know, they had the dreadlock hair. They wore wigs. <laughs> the ancient Egyptians wore wigs. They shaved their entire body. Okay. Everybody, not just the priests, everybody shaved their entire body because of uh bugs fleas take all all of that they yeah and they, they just didn't want to be bothered with it but they wore wigs i mean they're found in in the tombs these these beautiful woven wigs they're wigs <laughs> <laughs> And they they also talk about the 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 uh, tomb paintings and and people with dark skin. Well, there were Nubians. I don't. Uh, they're not called Nubians anymore, and I'm sorry that I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head. So forgive me, but uh, but there is a famous uh mural of uh the nubians who are bringing gifts to pharaoh and i mean they have like uh exotic animals and furniture and just and, and clothing all kinds of stuff for pharaoh and but yeah, you see the the darker skin tone, the lighter skin tone, brown skin, yellow skin, and everything. These 
these people worked out in the sun. Of course, they're going to get sunburned. They <laughs> they didn't have suntan lotion <laughs> back then. Of course, who knows? They may have had <laughs> something to that effect. I mean, when you learn more and more about the 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 kinds of they knew about penicillin. They knew that penicillin. They they didn't know about it, but they knew that rotten bread uh, was important. They just didn't know what it was. <laughs> and uh, so penicillin was back in ancient times. Yeah, was a thing even back in ancient Egypt. So, but so I mean, yeah, this this whole thing has opened just a floodgate of now i have no doubt and i've said this before you know talking with friends and and with my mom and everything that there was a trade route i mean throughout ancient history everywhere and there were people that settled so i have no doubt that there were blacks in egypt but as for all Egyptians being black, that's a stretch. Come on. And no, you know, it's its just like uh, when I watched the Mary Beard documentaries and she talks about how uh, slaves were freed and they would settle and, and become part of society. And, you know, that happened all the time. And... So I mean, there was uh, in Pompeii, one of the plastered uh, people was known as an Arab. And I think they found out later that he wasn't. I think I'll have to go back and, and look. But yeah, who they thought he was, he wasn't. And um, because now with the technology that we have, um, it turned out that he's anyway. Um, I'll look for that documentary and I'll put it in the description box. But um, but anyway, so they thought that he was Arab. Well, that would not surprise me. Arabs coming through Pompeii all the time and uh, selling whatever it is they have coming through. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me in the least. And so, I mean, you have the trade routes, you have people coming in selling whatever it is they have, you know, because they had like the spices and all of that. So, and, and of course, when you have the murals that showcase these people coming in, be it in Egypt, Rome, everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I get it. But as for saying that everybody, and again, they wore wigs, <laughs> they were shaving everything. <laughs> yeah when it's hot like that you think about summertime you got the mosquitoes go you got yeah all those bugs yeah i get it i when it's hot like that 24 7 every day i would do it <laughs> <laughs> why not and but yes the uh because i went to Years and years, and I still have the uh, book that I bought when, oh gosh, how long ago was that? I think I was still in high school when it came. May have been right out of high school, too. And it was called Splendors of Egypt. And they showcased uh, one of the wigs, and it was really beautiful. It was really long, and yeah, it looked like dreadlocks, but it really wasn't. It was just tightly woven braids. I guess that is dreadlocks, actually. <laughs> and uh, I don't know my hairstyles. I just know what I did with my long hair. <laughs> don't hurt me, please. <laughs> now I've got short hair. I just, whatever. <laughs> it works for me. So, but, so, just, you need to be aware that <laughs> open a history book once in a while 
don't just say, well, you know, they, they, they had the dreadlocks. No, they wore wigs. <laughs> everybody did. <laughs> well, I guess not everybody. Cause I guess the priests went in clean shaven and, uh, so, but so this whole thing opened this massive and I, again, Netflix ruined and 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 that other oh what was that one and and like the only saving grace of it was William Defoe's voice for it for for the one character Death Note yeah ruined Death Note and the only saving grace was Willem Defoe <laughs> so again why is it that these people are defending uh Cleopatra she wasn't black <laughs> and especially when an entire country comes after you you know you done screwed up and you're still defending it the the actress actually I, I saw today where the actress actually said that all of Egypt is racist that's when you're just downright stupid Okay, you're British. See, because <laughs> I would expect that as an American thing, just like, because that seems like something. Me being American, yeah, there's a lot of times where American YouTubers get on their high horse because they think America is the center of the universe. <laughs> and, they just, and they just mouth off. Look, I'm sorry. But all she did was put on some costume jewelry. The makeup job wasn't even correct. <laughs> it was like you were getting ready for a Broadway show. It it looked awful. <laughs> and, and and she's trying to defend this thing by calling everybody racist. The that word is dead. Okay. I'm sorry, but it has been screeched so much. Nobody cares. So I'm sure you can call the entire country racist and they're like, what else you got? <laughs> what else you got in your arsenal? I mean, there are so many words now that have been used that they they have no meaning anymore. Because your first defense is to use that word. It's like, because you don't like the criticism. Look, if, if if you don't like it, then maybe this isn't the job for you. I'm, I'm just gonna put it out there. I remember the first time that I got harsh criticism when I was in art school and yeah, I didn't like it. I got upset, but then I thought about it for a while and I said, you know what? I know I can do better than this. The guy was right. I can do better. <laughs> like, when you do a show, you're going to get criticism. And it's not always going to be good. Okay? You're not always going to get praise. All right? I'm sorry, but <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember when I was a dancer, I knew I was bad. I knew I wasn't very good. That's why I never made it to advanced class. But none of those advanced dancers were good enough to be a teacher. That's where I came in. <laughs> <laughs> know your worth <laughs> oh gosh yeah so and and somebody else that I was watching this morning actually pointed something out is none of the actors are Egyptian <laughs> and, and I got to thinking about it and I'm like okay so all these people who attacked Rami Malek 
and that's his name, isn't it? In Night at the Museum, who who played Freddie Mercury? Okay, so he wore that costume, and they attacked him for uh, wearing traditional Egyptian garb. He's Egyptian. I, I'm sure you feel real stupid right now because none of those people in that show are Egyptian. Okay. Why didn't they hire Raimi? <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm saying his name incorrectly. I do apologize. And what about the gentleman that was in the live action Aladdin? He was Egyptian. He is. Nothing happened to him, I hope. <laughs> but yeah, he's Egyptian descent. What is going on? They hired a British bitch. Because <laughs> she is. She's mouthing off. Just like the gal from Cowboy Bebop. What is with Netflix hiring these bitches? Who can't keep her mouth shut. <laughs> Seriously. They, they attack the fans like crazy. And this one is attacking an entire country. Like, oh, they're all racist. No, you're the racist. As soon as you say that, you're the racist. I'm just going to put it out there. Because a lot of other people, a lot of other channels are doing the exact same thing. And so I'm just going to say it here. Okay. When you are accusing other people of being racist, you're the racist. Okay, I've had it. I've absolutely had it. There's enough proof to show that Cleopatra was not black and you went out of your way. You're not even Egyptian, <laughs> lady. <laughs> you're British. <laughs> And, and you're going after an entire country that is proud of their heritage. They are proud of their history. You need to be kicked down several pegs. Okay, you're being sued right now because you're part of this. Netflix brought you in. Okay, I would think that you would shut up. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, she's just wearing a bunch of costume jewelry. And and the makeup job is horrendous. That makeup job is actually how I put on makeup when I was five. <laughs> it looks terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. It it is. I mean, when you look, because dramatizations in documentaries, as much as I don't enjoy them, look better than whatever they were doing. <laughs> it's okay. I also saw one thing that I want to point out, too, is <laughs> somebody actually was like, well, there wasn't this much of there wasn't this much drama kicked up when uh, Brenda Fraser's mummy. It, it has to be because a woman is uh, um, is the star. And it's like, OK, let's talk about this. The mummy is a monster movie. Okay, it's a movie, fictional movie, all right, and this thing is being, it, it was said to be a documentary, but it's not a documentary, it's all fiction, <laughs> and everybody knows it, because it's the lowest percentage ever <laughs> I have never seen and everybody's saying it never seen that percentage one percent on Rotten Tomatoes and and they were hiding it for a long time they didn't want to show it but they finally had to 
they were protecting this show. <laughs> okay. Now, for the <laughs> this is the thing that I that really annoys me to high heaven is that these directors and and the actresses that mouth off to high heaven and everything you know and screech oh you're racist if you don't like it if you don't like my show you you're racist and blah blah blah, blah. as if they were the first one to come up with this trash right okay well here's the thing okay you weren't the first one to come up yeah you're the first one to come up with this <laughs> idiotic idea for a show. it it's still a movie it's a fictional movie it's not a documentary it's not <laughs> it isn't as much as you want to try to rewrite history it's it's as much a, a fictional movie like elizabeth taylor's movie there were a lot of others who played cleopatra such as elizabeth taylor there was claudette colbert before her and of course the famous Theta Barra, who <laughs> sadly her movie is gone. We have like 20 seconds of it <laughs> where she's doing a very seductive dance. Yeah, the censors didn't like that one. <laughs> but we have the stills. Okay. And, uh, and of course, in 1912, if you remember, there was uh, uh Helen Gardner. Now I critiqued hers and Helen Gardner, uh, her production company put together that and she was the costume designer and the editor. So I'm sorry, but not only did she star in this movie, but she was the production, she did the costumes and the editing, her production company so for this actress to just mouth off to high heaven and use dead words that mean nothing oh you're racist yeah who cares yeah tell an entire uh country that they're racist because they stand by their history <laughs> your country couldn't even do that <laughs> okay but helen gardner put together an entire movie of Cleopatra. This, this bitch can't even do that. <laughs> okay. And then of course, William Shakespeare's Anthony, Antony and Cleopatra. Um, I mean, there's how many stage productions is that? And of course, George Malez, I haven't uh, critiqued his, but there is, I mean, there are so many different Cleopatra silent films that are gone uh i tried to find enough but <laughs> but he did one that was cleopatra i think he did at least three different ones because it seems like he did cleopatra's tomb and then cleopatra and then hazard company did several different films so for uh netflix and for this director and and this woman to just completely go off the rails and talk like they are the first ones to do no yours is as much fiction as elizabeth taylor theta barra helen gardner and and all the rest i'd rather watch george malez and his camera trickery i'm sorry but he's more creative than these dinguses okay <laughs> <laughs> I wish they would make like a silent film and say nothing. <laughs> Cause oh my gosh. Netflix is already being sued and these two are part of it. And they won't shut up. <laughs> you know, and, and you can say as much as you want about oh, you know, they, they're not gonna get sued. But it's their show. <laughs> oh. You know, it's... <laughs> and after saying that an entire country is racist, I'm pretty sure she's going to get it. <laughs> okay. It's, you know, it is a, a dead word but at the same time when you insult an entire country for standing up for their history something that her country can't do 
I mean, look at it. I mean, Anne Boleyn was turned black, which she clearly is not black, and they just let it happen. Queen Charlotte is not black, and there are people who are making it very known that she is not black, and you have a bunch of people who are like, well, this is this is based off of a, a book series. Doesn't matter. There are people who actually believe that she is black. Okay, this rewriting of history has people believing the lies. Okay. A friend of mine who was so set on history was believing that Queen Charlotte was black. <laughs> and someone actually attacked, was trying to make her understand that in a comment section, was trying to make her believe, was trying to make her understand. And she kept saying, well, you know, this is off of a book series. It's a, and it's like historical fiction, my friend. The fictional characters are mingling with actual people. And she just was not understanding. And finally they said, your dependence on Netflix to teach you history is sad and pathetic. It's also very immature. <laughs> she got mad, but it's true. I mean... <laughs> Queen Charlotte was real. There's paintings of her. She, she's as pasty white as me. <laughs> like, uh, oh my gosh. Oh, anyway, I, you know, if you're going to defend Jack and Rose being on the actual ship, they were fictional characters who mingled with actual people who were on the ship. Okay, that's historical fiction. It's the same thing. <laughs> Do we really have to have a lesson in this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, I <laughs> I sat and I watched that exchange where she, you know, I mean, she loves to read books and that's great, but the fact that she was totally brain dead as to historical fiction and the fact that fictional characters will mingle with real people. And, and then it was like, because her obsession of binging TV series, because they're based off of, I was like, yeah, Netflix isn't history. It has nothing to do with history. They're... <laughs> I have never considered Netflix a history anything. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> they ruined Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> I will never forgive them for that. And Death Note. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's just the bottom line. It's Keep reminding yourself what they did to Cowboy Bebop. The fact that the actress for Cowboy Bebop faked, she lied and said that the fans were attacking her and Netflix sided with her. And it's happening again. Okay, Netflix decided to do this air quote documentary, okay, on Egypt and and everything you know and do this whole thing open the can of worms again about how uh black you know e ancient egyptians were black but they didn't hire egyptians to play these characters as soon as i saw that this morning i was like oh my gosh why not <laughs> I am so glad somebody pointed that out. And 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 I'm going to repeat. I will find uh, that particular gentleman's uh, because he deserves the credit. And I'm sorry that I can't remember his off the top of my head. Uh, I'll put it in the description box, of course, because he deserves the credit for saying that. And uh, but <laughs> why not hire Remy Malik? I mean, for all 
the backlash that he got for wearing traditional Egyptian uh, dress in Night at the Museum, and he is an Egyptian. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. He, he I mean, I hope that you feel stupid if you actually went after him. That that was so dumb. <laughs> and then of course, the actor who played Aladdin in the live action Aladdin is Egyptian. Why not hire him? It makes no sense. I mean, that's just two off the top of my head that I can think of. So you make such a big deal about this, and then you hire a British woman who can't stop screeching racist, which is a dead word at this point. And then this morning, I saw, I don't know when she did this rant, but she said that the entire, you know, the entire country of Egypt is racist because they didn't like her show. You're British. <laughs> they made Anne Boleyn black, which she's not, and that's racist. <laughs> oh, they're dead. They don't care. No, it's it's still racist. <laughs> that's like making Henry VIII South African, which he never was. D do you see the problem here? No, you don't, because you're ignorant. <laughs> I mean, I I side with Egypt for fighting this. I really do. I, I am 100% in support of Egypt because it's disgraceful to just act like, you know what, we can mess with the history. It's no big deal. You can't do that. You can't rewrite history. It, and then to just you know say idiotic thing well it's like i said it's immature uh to say things like uh, well you know they're racist is that all you have now <laughs> i mean netflix is already being sued and for people who don't understand the business side of it to not have a country, an entire country, not watch, they lose money. And obviously they lost a ton of money because it's at 1%. <laughs> they lost massive amounts of money with this. Okay, so you can go and defend like crazy because you don't understand the business sense of it and say, oh, you know, it was great, it was great. And and you may be a bot and all that, but <laughs> yeah, I've seen tons of the bots. But truth of the matter is they're sunk. Don't screw with history. The <laughs> the paintings are literally on the wall. She's Greek Macedonian. Everybody knows that. Except for Jada, obviously. <laughs> except for Jada Pinkett Smith. Because for her to go ahead and go through with this, and I noticed she hasn't said anything. I find that very interesting. And have these two just talk up a storm and she's just kind of sitting in the back. Like, nah, mm-hmm. When are we going to hear from her? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so this, I, I didn't want to talk about this for the longest time but um you know i don't like getting political on my page i don't i i like to avoid it cuz i feel like there's enough of that going around 
But this was this was getting on my nerves. You know, this rewriting of history, the, the Anne Boleyn, there was the uh, Norwegian king, I believe, and the Norwegian king was turned into a black woman. He was a man, a white man. <laughs> this is just getting out of control. And it's uh, uh, the thing about Cleopatra is that she's so famous. And it just... And and especially this morning when I saw I'll I'll find his uh, video and put it in the description box. Uh, he he made a, a a good video this morning, and it <laughs> I was like, oh, they didn't hire any uh, Egyptians, so they were opening that can of worms about how oh you know uh, ancient Egyptians were black and they didn't hire any Egyptians interesting huh but they had the black uh box checked interesting very very interesting huh and the actress can't shut her mouth just like with the cowboy bebop actress who made stuff up and attacked the fans now the fans are being attacked an entire country is being attacked right now i'm just gonna say right now i support Egypt, and I do want to say that I'm just an American who has read books. <laughs> I'm just going by what I've read since I was 12 years old. So, but, um, and I'm very upset. I'm upset by all of this. I didn't watch the show. I have no interest in, no, I'm, I'm not going to, but, um, but anyway, I will stop here.